Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. This is Ephraim and you're watching Planting with Evan Grace. Ito na naman ang inyong hardinerong kapitbahay. Tara! Kwentuhan tayo! Every single day Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Ephraim and you're watching Planting with Ephraim Grace. Sometimes there are lots of plants na it really amazes us. Yung mga pinipicture na yung mga halaman sa inyo, may mga bagay kami na ngayon lamang naiintindihan sa kanila. And one of those plants that is actually quite rare at ngayon lang namin talaga nakita is this particular plant. This is called Nervilia delakiana. Okay? Also known as the Hairy Shield Orchids. Well, this particular plant is actually uh, distributed sa Queensland from Cape York to Yapun. But some of the literature that I have searched at mga nabasa ko, this is actually distributed well sa uh, Southeast Asia. Okay? Uh, including also Indonesia. Um, and sometimes it may occur in New Guinea. So this plant primarily um, can be um, makikita rin sa altitude na 250 meters up to 300 meters. Uh, 350, uh, 300 meters, yeah. So, ganun siya ka, no? Ganun, ganun siya, ganun ka specific yung, yung kanyang location kung saan makikita tong plants na to. And as you can see, if you're going to look into the, the structure of this plant, this is quite a terrestrial herb forming uh, plant. This one, in, in, in the wild, siya ay nagpo-form ng colonies na kaparehas nung iba, nung kanyang ibang mga leaves. And as you can see, um, this particular plants ay solitary yung kanyang dahon. Hindi siya nagmumultiple leaves. And um, meaning, yung single leaf na ito, it arise from the base. Kung saan nandun nakalagay yung kanyang tubers. Okay? Na ang measurement niya ay 1.5 to 3 cm wide. So, ganun lang kaliit. So, ganun siya, ganun siya kay special actually. So, um, this plant is actually, as you can see, masyado siyang ma ma malapit doon sa ground o doon sa pinaka, sa pinaka soil natin. The reason behind that, they are, they are considering this particular plant as a ground hugging plant. So, nandun siya sa pinaka, ano, pinaka ground talaga. Doon siya talaga kumakapit. And uh, if you're going to look at this one, yung kanyang bulaklak is quite similar doon sa mga orchid type. Kaya nga tinatawag din siya na related siya doon sa mga orchids na mga plants. Okay? Now, um, as you can see, yung kanyang dahon uh, is actually a heart-shaped object. So, medyo malak malapad na parang hugis heart yung kanyang dahon. At yung kanyang mga yung kanyang dahon is also embedded with the yung kanyang mga yung ng, ng hairs. Kung may mga parang hairs or trichomes. At yung kanyang veins, yung kanyang veins ng kanyang uh, plants is actually very significant. Unlike others, usually nakalabas nga nga, nakalabang, nakalabas nga yung kanyang uh, kanyang mga veins. That that uh, this particular plant is quite unique from the other plant na hindi naman ganon. Okay, usually pag ang, ang veins ng ating mga plants nasa ilalim, ito hindi, nasa ibabaw siya. Okay. So, um the the flower of this particular plant emerges from the center of the leaves. Yung sa mismo leaves niya. Tapos, uh, it is colored uh, purple with pa, na parang itsura niya ay parang orchid type. Na solitary. Or ibig sabihin individual. So, ganun siya kaganda. Pag ito ay nagkaroon ng bulaklak. But since I just bought this one, hindi ko pa alam kung, or hindi pa natin nakikita talaga kung anong bulaklak na meron. Okay? There are, there are different types of nervilia actually. And this one, sabi ko nga, medyo uh, maganda yung kanyang uh, plants. Okay. So, I bought this one in some of the local uh, garden. Pero sabi nga nila, medyo rare. Kaya, quite expensive nga itong ating plants na to. 
Uh, pero I think medyo siguro mahirap din siyang i-maintain at syempre mahirap din siyang uh, alagaan. Okay. So as you can see, the soil itself na ginamit ng aking nung 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 plants ko nung 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 garden yung garden shop na pinuntahan namin is actually a mixture of clay tapos yung kanyang uh, ano to mga mga humus type of rocks pero in that case iba kasi ang kanyang requirement o yung kanyang requirement based on doon sa kanyang environment so the ecology of this particular plant is actually yung um, sa forest ground it is usually located sa open forest ground tapos um, uh, it is widespread commonly doon sa area na yun. at kung magsaman ay magpa-flower this happens during November to December so medyo malamig kung baga yung kanyang sitwasyon okay so in terms of the the soil mix na kailangan natin sabi dito sa mga literature na nabasa namin the requirements for this particular plant in terms of the soil mix kailangan niya ng um, good rich soil mix with leaf mold and some coarse gravel so that means the plant itself really needs something that highly uh, porous yung sabihin mas madali siyang uh, yung tubig niya hindi nag stay and this particular plant or this particular soil parang hindi yata ganoon ang mangyayari okay so i do have to kailangan ko siyang tanggalin so i choose this spot so for the meantime habang hindi pa ako nakakabili ng magandang pot i choose this spot para uh, maging uh, kasama na uh, pa, para mailagay ko yung ating plants so sabi nga natin ang, ang ating literature says na kailangan porous kailangan medyo sandy so i use the the, the potting the soil mix here yung ating yung soil mix ng ating gravel at uh, uh, pumice rocks uh, similarly doon sa ating uh, CNS o yung yung cactus succulent type pero i mix some of the uh, yung mga leaf o yung mga extra uh, decomposed or extra decom um, partially decomposed material na mga uh, dahon yon tapos naglagay din ako ng organic uh, fertilizer. If you're going to ask me ano organic fertilizer, well, uh, I choose here guano or yung bat guano. Para, eh, I'm going to test nga kasi siya kung anong itsura niya or ano ba yung effect niya dun sa plants namin or sa plants natin. Okay? So, sabi kasi dun sa ating uh, plant usually, uh, dapat mga 2 to 3 centimeters yung lalim nung ating uh, Ah, yung ating plants. So, let's check nga muna kung ano ba talaga yung tsura ng ilalim niya. So, yung ilalim niya, as you can see, a mixture of clay. Okay? So, I don't know kung... So, iniingatan lang natin din na sana ay hindi siya hindi siya mabalik. So, it holds some water. That's the problem with this plant. Okay? So, remove it na lang ba? Yeah. So I will just I'll just I'll just show muna kung ano ba itsura nila. Okay. Oh, I told you. There. There. Yon. So at this case uh it's rooting pa lang siya, nagro-root pa lang siya. See? So siguro nung binili ko binili to, nagro-root lang siya. Pero I think this is nice kasi may available roots. So, I have to remove this siguro. So, titira lang natin ng konti yung mga hindi na-detouch na, 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 ano, na roots. So, let's remove this. Kasi ayoko naman na mag-rot siya. And that's very difficult. Kung i-maintain mo siya, tapos mag-rot lang siya. So, okay. I think this will go... Yan. So, kinilect na lang natin siya. Sayang yung lupa, no? Some of the, the gardener kasi, wala yung kanyang bulbs. Anyway, yung kanyang tubers, I mean. Pero, let's see kung magsusurvive. Anyway, I, I was also surprised na gano'n ang kanyang sistema. I'm not expecting na yun yung kanyang, kanyang uh, system. So, as you can see here, individual, see? Individual yung kanyang plants. Okay. So, kaya medyo, uh, I think, this really needs replanting. 
think it's cuttings. Parang hindi naman siya cuttings siguro. Kasi as you can see, you know, may mga root system na siya. Na unti-unti lumalabas. And it just happened na na medyo naging curious lang tayo. Kasi kung i-maintain natin to doon sa kanyang kalagayan na ganun lang, the tendency of this one, more or less, parang ilan lamang yung magsusurvive sa mga plants natin. And sayang naman. Okay? So, i-replace lang natin. Siguro sa asin pa natin ng corn bread. Yeah. Siguro, it could help naman kung i-mix natin ng corn bread. Yeah. Meron pa wala tayong konti staging pa dito, no. So, uh, my technique here actually, yung yung kanyang yung kanyang uh, pagdadahon, o yung kanyang uh, plants, definitely kailangan natin siyang since na tayo nagtanggal ng kanyang soil, uh, more or less hindi mo na natin siya didiligan. Total naman medyo moist yung ating soil. So, I think that would be better kung hindi muna natin siya didiligan para maiwasan natin yung pagka-damage ng kanyang o yung pagkaroon ng root rot niya habang nag adjust pa yung plants. Well, kung ganun na nangyayari, tapos ilang araw na to sa amin, siguro mga 2 to 3 days na to sa amin, tapos hindi pa naman siya talaga natutunaw or let's say hindi pa siya talaga nasisira or nang nawawala, o oh, nawawala, hindi pa siya na uh, nasisira or nagda-dry up, it means only na medyo matagal or medyo resilient yung yung kanyang da, yung yung plants itself. So if you're going to have this kind of plant, dapat pakita natin yung um tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari afterwards. Siguro I will give an additional view of this particular plant. Okay. Hindi nga pala to peperonia, ha? this is actually relative sa mga garden, ah, mga orchids. Okay, kasi yung kanyang, kanyang bulaklak mismo, it looks really like a uh, flower ng ating mga orchid type. Sinatawag nga itong ground orchids, actually. Now, in terms of the light na kailangan ng ating plant, ito actually, ang kailangan lang nito ay shaded. Yung natural environment niya nito is shaded type na environment. So, uh, more or less, uh, hindi niya kailangan masyado ng light. Or, we could say na uh, bright light lang siya. Okay? Bright light lang. Okay? Siguro pang ibabaw natin ng konti yung mga bowls na ginawa nung... Okay. Um, in terms of the... The... Ano tawag dito? Mga watering niya, more or less, mga... Usually, kailangan lang natin i-maintain yung kanyang moist. Yung moist environment niya. Pero since na medyo wet naman yung ating environment, I think you or maybe uh, laging umuulan ngayon. So the tendency of this one is hindi natin masyado siyang didiligan. Okay? So nagkuha lang tayo ng kumuha lang tayo ng konting mga plants. Pero actually, uh, nagulat ako, wala siyang ano, wala siyang tubes, wala siyang tubers. Kasi ito, nung nung ni-research ko siya, meron siyang maliit na parang parang hollen or parang marble ang size ng kanyang tubers. Pero this one, I think it is developing pa lang. Well, I do hope na talagang sana mag-survive yung ating plant na to. Kasi sayang siya. Okay? Napakaganda pa naman niya. Now, in terms of the humidity, we're talking here about, siguro, we could have um, a slightly warm environment. Kasi syempre, since na nabubuhay siya sa ilalim ng mga puno, so meron ka tayong partially the uh, yung yung decomposing factor will add up the heat dun sa sa kanyang ground at since na malapit siya sa ground the tendency of that is syempre mag uh, uh, lumabas yung mga init niya in terms of the propagation sabi nga natin this particular plant produces flower and syempre if there is a flower there is a possible pollination and it actually produces a flower and a seeds the seeds is actually nakalagay siya sa capsule Okay, tapos yung capsule na yun, dun, dun, dun yung nagko-contain yung kanya mga seeds. And then, um, siguro, uh, another way of propagation for this one is yung bulbs. And I was surprised again, doon sa so wala siyang bulb. Pero meron siyang roots at nag-start na siya mag-lenten mag, ano, mag, mag or bumaba. 
Kaya na siguro pag nag-mature yung ating plant, baka doon lumabas yung kanyang tubes. Ay, yung kanyang tubers. Kasi yung tubers kasi, ginagamit ng ating plant pagkatapos or sabihin natin na nag-dry up. Or let's say, na nagkaroon siya ng dormancy stage. Doon lamang siya lalabas. Okay? So, uh, since na we are uh, considered to be a tropical country, so the tendency of that is wala naman tayong, ano, wala naman tayong uh, winter. Okay? So, I think, Um, nakakatulong yun. Pero again, this plant, I think this is good to go. So, hintay natin. So, meron kayo paabangan for our next. Okay? So, that's all folks. You're watching Planting with FN Grace. Please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you may add to our FB list si Maria Gracia Tanlihim Nahabdi. So, goodbye!